welcome back to another reading and correcting of a wasteful death with me, Kim. Tiger writes, Hi, Tiger Supervisor. Want to listen to these live? It's every Tuesday morning, 8 a.m. on Twitch. Today, we are doing chapter. Ronald wrapped on the frame of the poked his head inside the small office. I hope you don't mind, he told the large bear behind the desk. I told the officer at the front desk I was an old friend of yours. In reality, all he'd done was show his ID. As an R.I., he had the right to come and go from enforcer stations. Marlout, she exclaimed, a broad smile on her muzzle. She pushed herself away from the desk before standing, shifting it forward a few inches in the process. Where have you been hiding? And why has it taken you so long to come and visit? Across the space, separating him and hugged him. He was minuscule and towered over him by more than a few feet. He hugged the grizzly, her arms. I think she becomes a Kodiak in the next book. Huh. Ah, uh, he hugged the grizzly, his arm unable to reach around her back. A minute later, he said, You're going to have to let me go eventually, you know help to chuckle at no i don't it was her deadpan reply actually i'm going to need him back still in the hall looking at looking in at them and laughing. bear looked him over calculated gaze and you are all right golden mane found the main place trembled and fixed his gaze on him i don't mentioning the don't i remember you mentioning that name a few times way back when you were still visiting on a regular Basis? Fellow's ears folded back in embarrassment. Or in a year? Uh huh. A year without a visit from my favorite wolf. How do you think my family and I have been feeling abandoned at? Fellow looked up, worry marring his feature. The grin plaster on the grizzly's muzzle made him roll his eyes. You're too easy, Marlot. Need to learn to relax. So, what's the story with you two? With the two of you? Fellow glared at her for a moment, smiling. Work together on that hunter case. She looked him. She looked from him to the lion and back. His smile widened. I'm glad you made friends. You don't have enough of those. I'm telling you, Wolf, you can't just hang out with those two tickies. You need lots of friends. Actually, we work together. Remember, serious. We figured we could accomplish more if we put our resources and territories. Why he felt he generally didn't care how people took the news of two working <clears throat> He gazed at the wolf and like thoughtful, smiling again. She retreated a step, bumping in the desk, bumping the desk back in its place, and sat on the edge, making it crack. Making making it creak. Oh, does your partner even know who I am? Oh looked away in embarrassment again. Breath. Or this is Bahamel Strongbone. She arrested me almost as soon as I saw the city. Or what? Rembor's tone was more alarmed than he liked. Participation in, unregister in an unregistered house of pleasure. Grizzly answered. He stared at Mark. You never told me. What was he doing in such a place? Good, good reason. Old his ear plastered against his skull, gazed downcast. Back in him lightly, I'll stagger to step. Oh, stop being embarrassed about that. He smiled at Trim. We had him in the cell for two days before we cursed him. We had six hours before he mentioned he was an R.I. Terrified half the department when he that, the other half was, was ready to hand themselves over to the closest hungry predator when we confirmed it was true. They thought he'd been hired by the higher up to see how well we were doing our job. There's always corruption when you give people power, added. What were you doing in an illegal house, in an, Ill, in an illegal pleasure house? Like, the college from Bond to hurt him. All outside, got in the tip, Ruxel was hiding in it, said. Relief washed over the lion. Then why didn't you tell them that? Harsher than he intended. Follow glared at him. Oh, I don't know. Maybe it was because I just arrived in, from a town where the R.I. isn't supposed to make wave. 
I didn't for the law. I wasn't. That's all I knew. All right. Primarily interrupted. Right, let's stop this before it turns into a full fledged lover's pat. A little splinter here in his eyes, but she was scooting back in her chair. Ow. As much as I appreciate the visit, after all this time, I doubt you're here. Reminess. Uh, what's this about? Wolf's expression. If she noticed the word. Back to it. It was Tremble spoke. For one if you've come across a rapist behind eyes darken get in and close the door Lied, but stayed by the door concerned at the harshness of so your interest in this that in the other chair have you heard about the agent spotted for relaxing she hadn't actually noticed anything comments at offhand mark too close for his comfort but it's Arcas's vice president, getting her death. Audited. Our examiner determined she was raped, but the rapist lost no trace, no fur, semen, even sweat on. I am held from her. Can't be him. It doesn't fit his pattern. King to You have a rapist? Ask. Audited. A serial rapist. We've been able to keep that off the news. Let us. Got the files? Ask. She raised an eyebrow at his request, her small round ear straightening. What? Ask. You're asking for permission? I was expecting you to demand I hand the file over. The lion chuck. I came up through the enforcers before becoming an RI. I know the value of maintaining good relationship with your departments of barging in. Oh, knew they could do that. Part of an RI. This part of an R.I.'s authority hadn't been thought at his academy. Town council hadn't wanted him to know his authority superseded that of the enforcers and even theirs when it came to resolving a case. The courses had led him to believe and his position as R.I. was subservient. The only enforcer in the town, Councillor Bridgen's nephew. His smile was warm. Well, there's at least one, hello, two R.I.'s who had that in mind. Many of your lot seem to think that we work for them. Power can corrupt anyone. Ahamel carefully extracted herself from the... Come on, I'll show you what we have. She led them through the building, past a row of large screen on a wall. Rolt stopped and stared at one at only one showing an occupied room. There were interrogation rooms. These were, were to ensure enforcers the enforcers Questioning suspected way. Followed it looked at the grizzly stand room and on the table between him and the badger. Fairly close. They couldn't hear what they were talking about. Body language. Imagine there was a growl of anger on the words. Ah he called out to the bear who had kept walking. Is that Belleric? Only met him once to groan since then for the resemblance. Ahamel came back and she smiled with pride. Yes, it is. I had to wait for my last cub, but one of mine finally followed in their mama's footstep. Watched fondly as the sun worked for a moment, starting back down the hall. This time I'll follow. He took out his pad when it beeped, and she let it had sent him the result. They hadn't found anything out of the ordinary. He was putting his pad away when it beeped again. That completed the trace on Sarlot, and he hadn't gone anywhere near his daughter. All was surprised at how quickly he took them to a room that had all the signs of being an irrigation room. The walls were bare. The table in the center was bolted to the floor, looking down at them, though so its cable was the chairs were missing. There was a cabinet as well as four boards giving Picture of females on board, over 30 of them. Each picture had a number printed. At How long has this monster, monster been? Oh, sorry. Officially, we're saying five years. But I think he's been at it longer. She tapped a picture of the father. 
She's the oldest guest we have, but even with her, his methods were already established. She was drugged and raped and hardly remembers anything. What drug did she use? Did he use or picked up her phone? Raspazel frowned. It's a simian sleep aid. It's available over the counter without a prescription. Species specific in that case, in this case, only for simians. Any other species that causes disorientation and drowsiness, even in small doses, at three times the prescribed doses, it memory. He drugs them, does whatever he wants, and they don't even know about it. Some do, or at least remember enough to know something. Was not everyone is the same. These females had to, had to have a higher tolerance. There are almost certainly more female out there who raped or are too afraid or ashamed to come forward. What about the pharma? What are the farmers doing about the drug? Followed had to work at it. Was able to be calmer. They have warnings on the package about the serious side effects on Simeon. Get them to pull, pull it off the shelf without telling them why. And if we were to tell them a rapist is using him, the newsies would get wind of it, report it, and within minutes we'd have a panic on our The lion stood next to the boards looking at a picture of a young lioness. All it went to him and took his hand. First, in case, lion deer. Right again, his voice softer. Lion glared at him. She can't be Alasa, child. Or Aiden. Amel is already doing everything she can. First glare lasted a moment. The anger dissolved. His hand reached up, almost cupping his cheek, then he hesitated a moment. Of the breath. Still muzzled and he took a deep breath and turned to the grizzly. All right, all these patterns. Bahamel leaned on the table, whined on the roof. Started by saying, I really hope your body isn't one of the victims. Because one of the victims, because he's never killed before. If he escalated to, escalated to include death with rape, there's no way we're going to be able to get that away from him. If it helps, said, there's a possibility that death was a planned. She let up. He likes his female young in a way they're very early adulthood, although he has gone after a few older ones. Only one exception hasn't raped any simians. So he's aware the drug doesn't work on them. Where are his hunting grounds? Ask. That's proving difficult to discern. She flipped one of the board over and showed a map of the city with any pins. Because of the drugs, we can't be sure where the rape took place. We did, it, we did our best to compensate, but even then, as you can see, he covers half the city. Nodded the table again. Not seeing any files on suspect. Where do you keep those? Pointed to the filing cabinet. We had to log them up. The harshness of the crime sent one of our officers over the edge, and he tested revenge on the most likely suspect of the time. Now only the task force has access to them. Punched a code on in our pad, and having a collect. Pulled a stack of files. These are our current suspects. Followed in tremor split. The lion scanned the first two. Up at the ground. Quickly looked through all the other files, then looked up. Marlott's face was Bore a puzzled expression. They're only reptiles. Ask. They're the most likely suspect we have. We have. Yeah. They're the most likely suspect we've done this. They don't shed like mammals do, so they don't fur at the scene. They also don't press pyres. Sweat on their victim. Tracing them by scent is. All those blood. By Hamels. Looked at the map. Furthest northeast location. The attack was in the financial. Talk to them. Graham, what's the iguana's address? Trouble looked at Wolf for a moment, or canted quizzically, without his pad, and looked it up, then gave it. The wolf traced the road on which the iguana lived. It was a straight line from the district to the southwestern region of the city. First under his breath, 
a, a, sorry, a cluster of pin in that area. Give me the closest intersection to his building. <clears throat> but before Kremble could give it to him, he pointed his finger in the corridor. This time is correct. What? I'd been blind. I never, never even considered reptiles. What are you talking about? Paolo turned to face him. It fits. Doesn't shed, and he knew I didn't. She would let him in since she had no reason to fear him. After all, she used to dominate him. He's strong enough to break her neck. It has to be him. He didn't wait for Trembor to explain the information. Marlot ran out. <clears throat> Marlot ran out the room. <clears throat> the lion's eyes grew wide as he understood. He turned to chase after his wolf, but Bahamel grabbed his arm. Him who? He demanded. Kristen Hart Talon he answered. He used to be one of Aiden's boy toy. He nodded, but she pulled him closer and looked him in the eyes. Take good care of Marlot. Hear me? He nodded and he caught up to Marlo as he was getting in his car. The lion sprinted and barely made it in before Marlo before Marlo peeled out of the parking lot with a speech. And this concludes chapter 18 of A Waste of Death. If you are enjoying this, please. <clears throat> leave a like if you want if you want to know when the next one is going to be want to be informed when the up subscribe and hit the if you want to read the book as well as the other in the series they are available on all major retailers support me that's on my patreon where you can get access to all made um, <clears throat> to just about everything i've written and if you want to listen to me do these live, it's every Tuesday morning, 8 a.m. Eastern Time on Twitch. The links are in the notes. I wish you a good day.